If you want your site to show up on Google, you wanna make sure you are doing these five things. If you're new here, my name's Jess and I create videos every single week for business owners like you to help you save time and look good online. And today I am nerding out about all the things SEO and I wanted to share five things that a lot of people are missing on their site. So first and foremost, you wanna make sure you are using an SSL certificate on your website. Squarespace has this option right inside your settings area. You don't have to pay extra for it. You don't have to go install something. It's right there. Now I know you might be thinking, wait, wait isn't SSL like that thing that's protecting payments and encrypting information? What does that have to do with SEO? It is, but Google has said that they will show preference to sites that are protected by SSL instead of sites that are not protected by SSL. The next thing you wanna do is make sure you've registered your site with Google Search Console, which gives you access to Google Analytics, and make sure especially that you have submitted a sitemap of your website to Google Search Console that so that they can index your website. You're basically making Google aware that your website exists. The third thing you want to pay attention to is your permalinks, your URL slugs. So your domain.com slash about. But you want to make sure that you are using clean URLs. This especially applies to Squarespace's blogging URLs because typically the default setting for the blogs is your domain domain.com slash and then they have the dates and then I think post and then get, like the name and it's super long so really make sure that your page titles and your blog post titles are simple and include keywords. You can go back and change URLs in Squarespace. It's on the page settings for each individual page or the post. But if you do this, make sure you set up 301 redirects so that any traffic you have out there on Facebook and Pinterest and whatnot actually goes to the same link, the same post or page, and not to your 404 page. Another really important factor is your site speed. And you might be like, what does that have to do with SEO? What, why does that matter? Because there are 200 plus factors that go into SEO and site speed is one of them because Google, basically they want to make sure that they are giving users a good experience. So they want to send users to websites that are relevant, that are fresh and that load fast. There are some different things you can do with site speed. The one thing I really wanna recommend for you guys is to make sure you are compressing your images. If you have Photoshop, you can do it there. If not, TinyPNG is a website that can compress your images for you for free. And last but certainly not least, make sure you are properly optimizing your page titles and your post titles. But I think a lot of people really pay attention to their blog post titles. They focus a lot of attention on keyword research when they're blogging, but then they don't optimize their page titles. So in Squarespace, again, under each page setting for each individual page, there is a little SEO tab that allows you to optimize the page title and the page description too. With the page title, you don't wanna just leave it as home, about, <laughs> You want to use your keywords. And I suggest using your keywords at the beginning of the title and then use your site name at the end. So for example, if your site name was The Fun Dietitian, you wouldn't wanna say like, The Fun Dietitian, comma, or dash, or whatever you wanna use, um, you know, Atlanta, Georgia. You would wanna say Atlanta Dietitian, comma, dash, whatever, the fun dietitian. So put your keywords first and then your site name or your actual name second. If you're struggling with your SEO, I actually offer website audits where I look at your design, copy, and your SEO. So be sure and check out the link in the description for more information on that. If you have Squarespace questions, let me know in the comments or be sure and check out these videos and I will see y'all next time.